On behalf of the University of Strathclyde, I would like to welcome you to the Barony Hall for this Congregation for the Conferment of Degrees. This is a day of celebration for you, our graduates, your families, your friends, and the staff of the university. These events are sometimes known as commencement ceremonies, as a signal that they mark a beginning rather than the end. And it's in that spirit that we celebrate graduations at Strathclyde. In a few moments, it will be my privilege to cap each graduand. The capping ceremony has ancient roots as a public rite of passage and a mark of achievement. For each of our graduands, it's a sign they are part of a proud tradition of world-changing scholars at Strathclyde stretching back to the Scottish Enlightenment. I hope you enjoy the ceremony. I now declare this congregation open and invite Professor David Hillier to introduce our students. My Lord and Chancellor, in the name of the University and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Accounting, Caitlin Allen. <clears throat> Kirsty Ann Harper. Rachel King. Amy Isabel McKenna. Rhys Martin Mulligan. Hannah Cloherty. <laughs> Gemma Marie Donachy. <laughs> Hamilton Gitao. Robin Jones. <laughs> Janie Koo. <laughs> Na Yu Lee. <laughs> Michael McDermott. Stephanie Muir. <laughs> Joanna Mullen. <laughs> Jody Marion Patterson. Sophie Robinson. <laughs> In accounting and economics, Kira Donnell. <laughs> Ojaswini Kalia. Rhiannon Ferguson. In Accounting and Finance, Daniel Baines.
Chloe Balmer. <laughs> Melissa Burke. <laughs> Matthew Doran. <laughs> Katie Hasley. Megan Hughes. <laughs> David Stewart Kirkwood. <laughs> Emma Louise McInnes. <laughs> David Lewis McLaughlin. Jack Martin. Iona Mayhew. Amy Claire Mellis. Stephen Mexon. Haley Jane Rose Middleton. Jack Gibson Ross. Cameron William Watson. Ewan George Watson. Gordon George Francis Wynne. Kimberly Young. Ahmed Yassin Mohammed Reda Al Lawati. Wisdan Ahmed Saud Al Zakwani. Young Keen Chen. <laughs> Ryan Conway. <laughs> Jack Dempster. <laughs> Emma Dykes. Gan Zin Fang. <laughs> Nicholas Green. <laughs> Craig David Johnston. <laughs> John Marath Kuriakosi. Gemma Mary McDonald. <laughs> Lucy McKenna. <laughs> Neil Connor Malcolm. Carmen Mann. Christopher Maxwell. Maxwell. 
Roslyn Holy Park. Thomas Shaw. Jill Taylor. Mark Toner. Ying Zi King. In business analysis and technology, Susan Harrington. <laughs> Panayotis Nikolaos Pantasis. <laughs> Karina Mei Fung Chan. In business analysis and technology and economics, Jamie Faulkner. In business analysis and technology and economics with international study, Sarah Cowan. In business analysis and technology and management, Stephanie Kostova. In economics, Cormac Hughes. Sean Hughes. Jenna Laws. <laughs> Vary Sarah Love. <laughs> Sam MacArthur. Adam Paul McGeer. <laughs> Rachel Spears. <laughs> Thomas Old. <laughs> Michelle Louise Brown. Tanya Atonova Dimitrova. <laughs> Elizabeth Harvey. <laughs> Sam Harvey. <laughs> Penny Leek. Jonathan McQuaid. <laughs> Corinne Menmuir. <laughs> Lauren Moffat. <laughs> Sophie Kate O'Brien. Georgia Lee Smith. <laughs> Daniel Young. <laughs> Kieran Boyle. <laughs> In
In economics with international study, Ruri Stoker Farquharson. <laughs> Fraser Hogan. In economics and business analysis and technology, Adam Sugden. In economics and business enterprise with international study, Alice Sacco. In economics and business law, Mariam Hussain. In economics and finance, Badr Khalid Saif Saoud Al Jabri. Anton Thomas Mikalski. Jacob Avi Ross. In economics and finance with international study, Ruth Bryce. Yasin Dyanov Stamatov. In economics and management, Darren Yesalada. In economics and marketing, Claire Wright. In economics and politics and international relations, John Harry McFarlane. In finance, Nikolai Atanasov. Beloslava Petrova Bosukova. Pavel Henrik Chernovsky. <laughs> Ilya Stefanov Ilyev. <laughs> ja Yi Hao. Narinder Singh Kunar. <laughs> Benjamin Porteous. <laughs> Hazel Marie Topping. <laughs> Veseline Boyanov Sviatkov. Nariman Ali Amur Al Harti. <laughs> Mohammed Khalid Saif Saud Al Jabri. <laughs> Connor Brook. Pierre Cloupe. <laughs> Valerio Di Jaco. <laughs> Mohamed Ijaz. <laughs> Zihan Gao. Ruri Duncan Holwell.
Isa Ibrahim. Georgi Stefanov Karavalkanov. Robert Keyes. Elsimieki Carling Kyrtos. Yuki Liao. Ross McIntosh Peebles. Zhang Wen. Zhu Zilong. In finance with international study, Kirsten Lam. In finance and business enterprise, Ibrahim Saeed Ahmed Ibrahim Hashem Ibrahim. Alexander Edward Ong. In finance and business law, Sophie Isabella Graham. In finance and economics, Slavomir Zido. Neve Johnston. Jason Lang. Jan Yang Lim. Terry McDonald. David Fraser Muir. Jao Paulo Simoes Nunes Rivero. Jordan Trindade. Simona Yakimova Yakimova. Toma Paul Nikolai. In finance and economics with international study, now Donald Charles Evatt. Anna Katarzyna Peruznik. In finance and hospitality and tourism management, Joanna Christina Lupu. In finance and management, Anastasia Hristova Georgieva. Denitsa Raikova Tsuvereva. <laughs> Martina Nikolaeva Tsvetkova. <laughs> In finance and marketing, Jean de Montlivo.
In finance and marketing with international study, Claire Devlin. <laughs> Laura Julia Mikkel. In finance and mathematics and statistics, Thibault Wheel. Georges Monocrusos. <laughs> Ziki Wan. <laughs> In human resource management, Ariana Katia Bardelli. Hannah Jane McDonald. <laughs> Kevin McGrory. <laughs> Chloe Nellis. <laughs> Georgia Tomney. Stuart John Armstrong. <laughs> Rochelle Cornick. <laughs> Elena Hapsey. Kirsten Mary Lundy. <laughs> Molly Ree McAlevey. <laughs> Jennifer McBain. Barry McFarlane. <laughs> Stephanie McGee. <laughs> Louise Marie McIntosh. Bruce McQueen. <laughs> Katrina Rose Northwood. <laughs> Michael Rankin. <laughs> Sarah Razul. Gavin Alexander Scott. <laughs> Iram Tariq. <laughs> In human resource management with international study, Malgorzata Anna Piaskowska. In Human Resource Management and Business Law, Emma Louise Campbell. <laughs> Celine Stewart. <laughs> In Human Resource Management and Hospitality and Tourism Management with International Study, Sarah Gostak.
in Human Resource Management and Management, Alison Gillian Tullock. Laura Jane McEwen. Adele Young. In Human Resource Management and Marketing, Shabiha Noor Ahmed. Lydia Mary Isabella Brown. Ross Ferguson. Christopher Gandhi. Jenna Alexandra Stephanie Gilroy. Carla Heron. Jillian Christina Hood. Kay Morrison. Beth Rees. Michelle Smith. In Human Resource Management and Marketing with International Study, Sophie Patricia Irvin. Victoria Louise Leinig. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Enterprise and Finance, Mubarak Mohammed Mubarak Al Shikeli. Well, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, but most of all, our graduates, as we can now call you, it's a real pleasure to welcome you here to Barony Hall, one of the jewels in Strathclyde's crown. I'd like to begin my address today by congratulating all our graduates once again on your academic achievements. Your hard work has paid off, and it's been recognised in front of your family, friends, and indeed the staff who taught and supported you during your time here. We know just how much work you've put in to be here today, and you can all feel justifiably proud. The great American athlete Jesse Owens once said, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline and effort. And all of you here today have displayed determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. All of you have taken a huge step towards realizing your dreams. And today, in those magnificent surroundings, we celebrate your achievements. Well done.
In just a few minutes' time, you'll be asked to join the academic procession as it makes its way down the aisle. This invitation symbolizes the fact that you're no longer students, you're full members of the academic community of Strathclyde. And this is an important moment for you all. The class of 2018 is graduating at a time of considerable global change, here in Scotland, in the UK, and internationally. There's no question challenges lie ahead for us all. But as a member of the Strathclyde family, you belong to a large and ever-growing worldwide community with a shared ethos of tolerance and understanding and a desire to make a positive difference. Whatever dreams you're pursuing in life, remember you possess the most valuable assets anyone can have in today's world. Knowledge, the ability to innovate, and the capacity to use your talents for the good of society. As graduates of a socially progressive university, you have a competitive advantage, having been equipped with the skills, know-how, and life experiences to positively influence and shape the world around you. And in Scotland, we're fortunate in having a higher education system, which is the envy of the world. Our country rightly invests in education for all. Education broadens the mind and it creates opportunities for individuals and for societies. And as Strathclyders, we carry a sense of duty to use what we've learned wisely and for the good of others. And of course, the desire to make a positive impact in the world comes naturally to graduates of this university. We only have to look at the achievements of those who've gone before to find inspiration. To John Anderson, our founder, who established this university for the good of mankind. To George Birkbeck, who introduced free classes in mechanics for Glasgow's tradesmen. To the world's first oilman, James Paraffin Young. To the missionary and explorer, David Livingstone. To John Logie Baird and Lord Reith, whose work in television brought us visual marvels that they could hardly have dreamt of. And in the present day, we look to Dame Ellie Shangiolini, a pioneer in Scottish justice as the country's first female solicitor general and later its first female Lord Advocate. And to Sir Tom Hunter, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Scottish history and a philanthropist who's used his wealth for the great benefit of others. Now, I'm sure you'll have received lots of advice on how to make the best of your lives. Some you will rightly ignore. Some will stick with you. But most you're going to have to learn for yourself. Robert Louis Stevenson put it well when he said, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Now, to reach this point in your lives today, each of you will have traveled a different journey. For some, the path may have been relatively easy, for others, much more difficult. But I'm certain of one thing, none of you would be here without the active support of your family and friends. They've picked you up when you've been down, They've encouraged you when you needed it, and they're here to support you once again today, proudly walking, watching as you cross the stage with broad smiles and the odd tear in the odd eye I noticed. They are celebrating today, not just because you're almost off the payroll, but I dare say there's an element of that. They're, they're pleased for you because you carry with you their hopes and dreams their confidence that you can make this a better world. For the past half hour or so, their applause has rung in your ears. I'd like now to invite our graduates to show their appreciation for the support of their family and friends. Now, we will actively keep in touch with you through our alumni and communications teams, but I would ask you too to please keep in touch with us. We'd love to hear about your achievements as you progress through your lives and careers, and we look forward to hearing from you again. The advice and guidance given by our alumni helped to provide the first-class education and student experience that you all had here at Strathclyde, and I now ask that you think of those who are going to follow in your footsteps. Now, I touched earlier on some of the key figures who've helped create the University of Strathclyde. You can tell a lot about the values of an organization by looking at its roots. 
Strathclyde traces its lineage back to 1796 when Anderson brought it into being, the only Scottish university founded in the Enlightenment and embodying Enlightenment principles of reason, tolerance and equality. Anderson believed in useful learning and his commitment to taking knowledge and using it for the greater good is a motivating force which gives Strathclyde its momentum today. It can be seen in our business school, which was named Business School of the Year in the prestigious UK-wide Times Higher Education Awards in 2016. It can be seen in our advanced forming research centre, which sets new standards in design and manufacturing, and which has more than doubled in size to meet industry demands. It could be seen in our 89 million pound technology and innovation center, which is transforming the way academics collaborate with business, industry, and the public sector to bring global competitive advantage to Scotland. Takers, as fondly known, is a tangible sign of the university's commitment to world-class research and ensuring outcomes that have maximum benefit to society and the economy. And these represent just a small sample of the many innovative projects and initiatives led by our world-class academic and professional services colleagues who are taking new knowledge and using it to solve problems in industry, in the classroom, and in boardrooms. I'm especially pleased we're developing our campus to enable us to do even more. Our business school's flagship building has been transformed with a £23.2 million investment. Work is underway in a £60 million teaching and learning hub, and our new £31 million Strathclyde Sport Building will open in the new semester. All in all, we're investing £650 million in our estate over a decade. And so too has it been some year to celebrate for the faculty. Pioneering school-based mentoring program, MCR Pathways, has partnered with SBS to create a groundbreaking accredited leadership training course. Based on the MCR model of relationship-focused mentoring, the leadership through MCR mentoring will be accredited at SCQF level seven, that's first year BA, BSc level by the University of Strathclyde. And following record-breaking entries to this year's Converge Challenge, the leading top 60 projects from Scottish universities and research institutes included 10 finalists from Strathclyde University, with three of those all in the kickstart category, SBS students and graduates. SBS has been ranked first for both accounting and finance and hospi hospitality, leisure, recreation and tourism in a complete university guide for 2019. It was published on April 25th. That covers 131 UK universities and 70 subjects. And accounting and finance are top of a table which ranks 104 institutions. Both marketing and business management studies make the top 10 of their subject tables, marketing being placed second and business and management studies sixth. Strathclyde Business School in Dubai attended the gala award ceremony of the Global Management Challenge UAE edition to celebrate Strathclyde MBA team Hepatia reaching the national finals. Two SBS students, Roxanne Collinette and Ellen Greaves, scooped first prize in a UK-wide marketing competition run by Wilkinson Sword. And Strathclyde Business School has been re-accredited by Equus for the maximum five-year period, having undergone a rigorous review process which involves a peer review team of deans from accredited schools assessing the business school against stringent international criteria. That is why our graduates are so highly prized by companies looking to recruit the best talent to drive their businesses forward. That is why world-class companies like Rolls-Royce, GSK and Boeing are investing in Strathclyde. That is why we are leading research, we are leading research in energy, health, manufacturing and technology. And our success is in no small part due to the collective talent, effort and commitment of our staff, the 3,200 colleagues who are pulling together to deliver one vision, a leading international technological university. Like me, they are very proud of your achievements. I know that the class of 2018 will demonstrate the power of useful learning. I know that you will make your dreams a reality. And I know you will make a difference to the world in which we all live. Thank you.
I now declare closed this congregation for the conferment of degrees. I'd like to invite our graduates to join the academic procession. And please would family and friends stay behind until the procession has left the building and then join us in the Lord Todd building over there for refreshments. Please be upstanding. <laughs>